These are eight survival knots that you need to know how to tie right now. Let's get into it. This is how you tie a basic slip knot. You first want to make a loop like I did here and you want to fold it like this and now it kind of looks like a pretzel. You take this exact part of the pretzel shape while pulling on your working end. And if you pull on your standing end now, it slips. This is why it's called a slip knot. To tie the figure eight slip knot, what you want to do is you want to make a loop, take your working end, make it go behind the standing end, and you'll see its shape is an eight. Then you want to turn your working end into a noose and very carefully poke it through the top hole of the eight. Very carefully pull against the knotted part and while pulling on the standing end. And there you have it. A figure eight slip knot. It serves the main purpose of slipping. To tie the clove hitch, what you want to do is you want to take your working and make it go around the thing you're tying it to. Make it go around again, but this time cross it over the part where you first wrapped it around to make crossing lines. Come back around again. When you came back around, make it go under the top of the crossing lines. Pull tight on both ends. You got yourself a clove hitch. Now this knot is very good for practicing ridge lines if you don't know any of the fancy ridge line knots. The bad news is that it can slip easy if you pull on it too tight. The good news is that you can fix that by tying a stopper knot. To tie the bull hitch, what you want to do is you want to take your working end, make it go over whatever you're tying it to, hold your standing end with your left hand, and wrap your working end around it. Then what you want to do is you want to make your working end go under and over whatever you're tying it to. And then you want to poke it through where your index finger is. And then, then you want to pull tight. And you got yourself a bull hitch. You can tell if it's a bull hitch if these two lines right here are crossing. If they are crossing, then you've done it right. If not, keep practicing. This is how to tie the common bowline knot, one of the most critical survival knots that there is. So first what you're going to do is you're going to make a plain loop just like that. Then what you do is you take the working end, this is what this part is, make it go up that loop. Then what you're going to do is make your working end go around your standing end. This is what this part is here. And make it go around and make it go down that same exact loop that it went up through. Hold down on the knotted part, pull tight, and now you have yourself a bowline knot. Now this is a very strong knot, and this is mostly used to make a tarp shelter or to hang up stuff if you're in, if people are in the woods. That's how to tie the sheet bend. Now you're gonna need two ropes for this because the, the sheet bend is a knot where you connect two ropes together. First, what you want to do is you want to take your left rope and make it into an upside down U shape, just like this. Turn it sideways, and then you take your right end and act it as your working end. Make it go through the upside down U shape like that. Then go over it and under it. The same exact rope go under itself. When it's coming back up, pull tight on both ends. Got yourself a sheet bend. 
Now, if you're making a ridge line and you're running out of rope, but you have an extra rope, this is the way to go. This is how you tie the figure of eight with loop. So what you do with your rope is you take one end of it, leave a little bit of the end so you can tie it and then make an upside down U-shape like this. And now we can pretend that this part of the upside down U-shape is our working end. We take it, make a loop, make it go around the standing end. Now you can see that it's a figure of eight and through the top loop again and you pull tight and it's kind of, and you basically tie it like a classic figure of eight knot. People who work with rope use this knot. It's very, very tight. And also it could be used for shelters. Knot. The loop part of the end may go over the ridge line. Then what you do is you take the knot apart, make go through the looped part, and take it and make go through again, and then make go through one more time. And now you just pull down, make sure all these are lined up, and now it should look like a fist. Fist bump. What it's for is when you hold it down with your fingers, it should move around very easily, but when you pull it down with tension, it's, it's a bit harder to move it, and sometimes not even at all. But what we do is we tie or clip this to the tie-up points of the tarp shelter. This will make your shelter tight. The rain won't get into the shelter, and it'll just go right off. Which one of these knots was your favorite? I like this one the best. Comment down below which one was your favorite. Wet em? That isn't even any of the knots I told you about. If anything, that's just a non-slip version of the slip knot. Really?